because you kick the bots at the end of Dark Carnival. You can't do that on any other finale. That's yeah, so like 20 seconds of time saved just on B-Hops, like in the very first split of the game. But it's the split where the B-Hops matter the most in the whole game, too. So it's like the biggest differential on any of the splits just based on movement alone. Except for maybe like Parish 3. Parish 3 has a really long section that you can get some sick hops on and save a lot of time. Because, like, that room that I just went around there, you can just jump over that whole thing if you're going really fast. So, like, saves, like, 10 seconds there. And then if you could keep these hops all the way up the slope, it saves a lot of time, too. Like, all the way to here. I got a 110. Like a one hour, ten seconds. I finished the run finally, but yeah. I was two minutes ahead, and then I had the run, black, run back split, and I died. And then I missed PB by nine seconds. I was shooting a jockey and it ran in front of a witch and then I didn't have enough bullets in my shotgun to kill the witch and I was in the water. No auto shotty for me. You can outrun a witch with B-Hops, yeah. But I was in water. So your movement speed is like fucked. Oh, they're really fast. Like, really fast. They're hard to outrun, but you can do it. You can also, like, out B-Hop. You can out B-Hop anything. The hardest thing to out B-Hop is probably uh, a Smoker's Tongue. Because it, it reaches way longer than you think it would. Speaking of. Yeah, I've definitely ran out of range of a smoker's tongue before. Like, it, like, goes to, like, it, like, tries to smoke me, but then I leave the range in time because he hops. Sub 4. I don't think I've ever gotten a sub 4 there. I might have. I feel like I probably have, but I don't remember it. <laughs> 